Shout out to the K&J fam, and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamia. And we're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. What? You guys, today we're doing Puerto Rican cuisine. Yes, 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 yes. We have chicken, we have white rice, we have sweet plantains, we have salad, uh, we have beans on the side here, some black beans, mm -hmm. and we have this sauce, this pink mayo, which yeah. is like a garlic mayo sauce that we dip everything in. Which we made in one of our videos, actually. We did. We actually made this. We made this whole meal. We did. Yeah, this whole meal, Minus actually. the plantains. Minus the plantains. Check out our other Puerto Rican food um, video where we make this dish. Yes. And we make the sauce. Exactly. And we also make this hot sauce. He no. No, we, we didn't make that. this hot sauce because we don't know how. We didn't make that. <laughs> this we, is hard. We made the dressing for the salad. Yeah, we did do that before. Which is like a lemon garlic In dressing. fact, we'll have the video pop up like right around here so you can check out the recipe uh, if you're interested. If it doesn't pop up, you can blame Jamil. Yeah, it, it should pop up though. should pop up right now. Okay. Or now. Okay, you guys. It's going to be one of these times. Now. Okay. Let's do it. You're fine. <laughs> and then we're going to tell you about our coldest water bottle drama yes. that has all panned out and worked out. But we're going to tell you everything we've been through with the coldest water bottle. Yes. You definitely want to stick around for the story. Absolutely. It literally is crazy. Um, but I really, really need to tell you what happens. That's right. Before you think about getting the coldest water bottle, let us tell you our experience. Yes. So. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Thumbnail. All right. Here we go. Let's start eating. Okay, let's start eating. You ready? And then we'll get into the story. Exactly. Okay. Um, is this one my fork? Is that what And this one's right? your fork. Oh. <laughs> and you have a knife, too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Cool. And then can we have the sauce? Yes. I'm going to put the sauce in the back so we can both dip into this. Do your thing. You guys. I'm excited. We love this place. This it's so good. This place is so good. We have told people about this restaurant. Many a times. But it's it was on diners, drive-ins, and dives with Guy Fieri. Mm -hmm. And um, it's delicious. It's the best Puerto Rican food. It really is. And I mean, obviously, there we have a mm -hmm. few places out here. And we've gone to a few, but I would say this one, for the most part, hands down, is the best. Oh, yeah. It's it's incredible. Mm -hmm. And they've had all sorts of awards for, you know, the best food in, in, the, in the city and stuff like that. They've won all sorts of awards. So oh. a lot of celebrities come out of town. And then when they come into town, they stop by here. Mm. So it's like a really good place. Mm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, they give you really good, big portion size. Mm -hmm. We got a five piece? No, did we get a five piece? We got five pieces of chicken. But they it's give you like seven one. or eight. Yeah. They give you a lot more than, than what they say, which mm -hmm. is nice. Mm. Yeah, and it's not too, it's not too expensive. No. It's not bad. Mm, it's just so garlicky <laughs> and flavorful. If you guys like garlic, um, definitely check out this other Puerto Rican food video so you can see how to make this. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And the recipe that we use is, is exactly the same that they they use when they except the we altered the pink sauce a little bit, mm -hmm. but the chicken is the exact same recipe, I think, that they use at the restaurant. Mm. And the salad dressing, it's just lemon, oil, garlic. It's mm -hmm. simple and delicious. It is. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Mm. Got that lemon kick. <laughs> mm. So good. The chicken, like Kristen said, is super garlicky. But. In a good way, though. Yeah, in a very good way. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just put so many different spices in it. It, it flows so well. Like it's garlicky, but it won't make your breath smell, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's not like that kind of garlic. It might. I don't know. But not like if you go to like an Italian restaurant and they were doing on garlic. Like, I don't know. I feel like this is different. I can see that. Mm hmm But mm. either way, it's incredible. Mm hmm It's really good. Okay, guys. Should we tell them, babe? Yeah. Okay. So you guys, we have to tell you about our coldest water bottle story. It's been pretty, it's been a long story. Drama. We finally got everything situated this week, guys. I mean, it's, it's. Yeah. I mean, I know not everybody was on here or on our live when we had to deal with the issue, but. <laughs> but we're going to tell you for those of you who weren't. Exactly. I purchased a black 24 yep. ounce coldest water bottle for Jamil, the one he was holding up for the thumbnail. I'll show it. Okay, awesome. I purchased this coldest water bottle for him, 
And I even ingrained, ingrained, I wanted to ingrain his name on it. Engrave? Engrave. Yeah. Ingrain. <laughs> ingrain. <laughs> I wanted to engrave his name on it uh, where it said Jamil. Mm -hmm. We're like, great. I ordered it. Um, and then basically it came during a live and we wanted to do this big reveal yep. and, you know, surprise Jamil with the coldest water bottle because I already had this one. So I wanted him to have one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so um, we opened it up, and it ha and it was the black 24-ounce coldest water bottle, mm -hmm. but it said, instead of Jamil, it said Jasmine M. Yeah. <laughs> well, was the name on the water bottle. And it came in a box that was like, happy birthday. And I'm like, what? It was This was way off for my birthday. <laughs> so it was a birthday box and a yeah, note. And a note. So it was a little strange. I said, happy birthday, Jasmine, blah, blah, blah. Like, clearly, it was the wrong order. Mm-hmm. Clearly, right? Yep. So, we had a good laugh on the live. It was funny. Uh-huh. Um, I wrote them, told them what was up, and I got somebody back saying, um, okay, keep it, we'll send you another one, you know? Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, I think it's like, keep it, send yeah. you another one. And I was like, great. Um, anyways, a few days go by, and I... Had to send them what the or I had to tell them what the order was, you know. So I yeah. had to show them what my original purchase was. Yep. So I went through like customer service on this website, um, showed them my like my original receipt uh, number for ordering it. I, I explained what happened in a narrative too. I ordered this. It was supposed to say Jamil. It said Jasmine M. Blah blah blah. So I wrote them on this ticket uh, for the support um, on their website. Nobody got back to me. Yeah. I was like, okay, maybe they're busy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I wait like another few days. Nobody got back to me. I was like, okay. And I did another one, another ticket on their support page. Mm -hmm. Like a week later. What's a ticket? A ticket's like, you know, when you have like a complaint or like a issue. Mm. Um, you know, companies say, oh, this is your ticket. It's like a ticket. Um, yeah. Like IT reference does number? It. Like your reference number? Yeah. Oh, sure. okay. Okay, sure. It's a ticket. I That's don't know. Fine. <laughs> you don't really get a ticket, but they call them a ticket. Got it, got it, got it. Got I don't know. It's an IT thing. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard that. Okay, well. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Positive. It's a ticket number, right? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's called ticket. It's like when called you submit ticket. something, it's like called a ticket. Okay, yeah. So if I called tech and I was like, can I get a ticket? They're going to be like, oh yeah, of course. And IT start knows what a ticket is. Anyways, that's what they called it on this website. Mm. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sleep on the couch? <laughs> you always say that. Yeah, because you will. I'm about sleeping on the couch. Oh, go ahead. Sleep mm. on the floor. <laughs> oh. Okay, so basically they weren't getting back to me on this support thing. Mm -hmm. And so I had to find another email basically and email them. So I emailed them personally. This is like the middle of September. Yep. And I said, hey, I haven't heard back to you. Like I was like I'm kind of upset. I'm like, I haven't heard back from you. This is what happened. Like, I think it's really ridiculous that I had to email you all these times. Yeah. Nobody's getting back to me, blah, blah, blah. Somebody got back to me right away from that email. Can I add something, by the way, too? Not to cut you off, but yeah. I'm going to take a step back. Sure. We would have preferred to just give them the water bottle back in exchange for the new one because of the name. But they, you know, once again, like Kristen said, they asked us, to, they, they said you can go ahead and keep it. So it was, for us, it was like, this is a little insane that they're not getting back to us. And, you know, meanwhile, our order isn't right. I mean, mm -hmm. we paid our money. Mm -hmm. They didn't give us all of our stuff, by the way. Mm -hmm. There was uh, something that Kristen bought that they, it was the top to this. I ordered like a, that, a sucker thing for yeah, this top. Yeah, which was expensive, by the way. Mm -hmm. And we didn't even get that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we were a little upset because we were like, okay, this is just a little ridiculous. So anyways, continue on. I just wanted to add that. Mm -hmm. They basically said, I'm so sorry. Um... They basically said, we're sorry. Um, unfortunately, we are completely out of the black 24-ounce coldest water bottles. Mm -hmm. We will not have them until the end of October. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, this is mid-September. Yeah. We are completely out until the end of October. We will send you one then. Yeah. That was it. Uh, sorry, it's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. So there was no other solution. No, I no. said... I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Because already, mm -hmm. like, I had waited so long to hear back. And yep. then they're very like, you know, too bad, so sad. We're out. You have to wait a month and a half. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this whole time, once again, well, for us, we just really wanted some sort of 
validation or something mm -hmm. acknowledging it, you know? I think the thing about the coldest water bottle is this, ha this is a company that, you know, a lot of other channels uh, actually use as sponsors. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, we, we actually have their water bottle. We tried it. It's really good. I mean, there's some things that we're not 100% fans of, but it's still really good. Mm -hmm. So for us, we were like, we're thinking they're supposed to have great customer service and be on point. But this whole time, it just felt like the experience wasn't what we were hoping for, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure not everyone's going through the same experience, by the way. This of is just course. our particular experience, you know? This is just mm. what we went through. Yeah. So clearly, I was like, okay, maybe I need to be the solution-focused person. Yep. When they said they were out, too bad, so sad, you have to wait till the end of October. Yep. I said, um, is there anything you can do? I was like, I've waited this long. We ordered it weeks ago. Yeah. I understand you're out, but maybe like... You know, is there anything else we can do? Like, you know, another color mm -hmm. or something? Mm -hmm. um, I was just throwing it out there, you know? And they were like, we're completely out of all of our 24 ounce <sighs> or 21, whatever that thing is. Yeah. 21, I think it's 21. Uh, 21 ounce. Yeah, it's uh, 21. Coldest water. 21 ounce. We're completely out is what they said. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, fine. So we had to wait. Yep. Waited, waited, waited. End of October came and gone. Mm -hmm. Nobody contacted me at the end of October to say that they were sending the thing. So I reached out to them like November 1st, I believe it was, maybe the 2nd, mm -hmm. and said, hey, again, emailed, this is what happened. You said you were out, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, they wrote back and they were like, oh, we're so sorry. We were going through a transition. Yeah. I'm so sorry about the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. um, here is a return label. When you, yeah, here is a return label for your Jasmine M. Coldest Water bottle. Now, All of a sudden now they're expecting us to return it. Mm -hmm. When that's when we were told, we weren't told that originally. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> here is a return label for your Jasmine M. Coldest Water Bottle. Um, once you return it, we will check the tracking number to make sure it's in the mail. Once it's in the mail, then we'll send you your order. Crazy. I was livid. <laughs> really? For one, you're what? gonna what? Were you really mad? Yes. Okay, sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm just joking. I remember. For one, <laughs> you're gonna re-gift the Jasmine M coldest water well, bottle that's crazy after to too. after we were informed that we could keep it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna re-gift it? Is uh, like uh, there's a pandemic going on? Like really, you're gonna give it away? Yeah, I doubt that's what we're gonna do. I hope they. It doesn't do matter. That. Like. It, it's been in our possession. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? You yeah. know, like, I get it. Like, yes, you know, but it was your mistake. You know, anyways, mm -hmm. I just feel like really you're going to ask for it back. So anyways, they did. And then, so, and basically it wasn't even just like, oh, here's the return label. We'll send it now. Return it. Mm -hmm. Was we're going to wait till you return it. We're going to make sure you've returned it and then we'll yep. send it. I know. I was so mad. So again, I was very nice. I said, <laughs> I said, okay, thank you for the return label. We will put it mm -hmm. in the mail this week. Again, you know, it's a lot. We're we're hella busy. It's a lot to go to the freaking post office, put it in the box, put the return label on it, you know, send it. But whatever, I was going to do that. But I said, so we'll go this week. I said, you know, I, I but I said, I just want you to know that I'm extremely disappointed with everything that's been going on. You know, we had to wait so long to get our order. I get that you were out. I get out of the water bottles. I get you were going mm -hmm. through a transition, but I just feel like something else could have been done to accommodate. And then I threw out, which I had to, I said... But, yeah, I'll go ahead. No, what were we going to say? Well, we told them, you know, because we wanted to let them know our whole experience, mm -hmm. how we opened it during the live. And we wanted to let them know, like, you know, this is, you know, as from a business standpoint, you know, customer service wise, you guys should understand that it's it's important to to know at least what happened, right? We opened it during the live. People saw that. And it's something that they should understand. So we got a chance to pretty much tell them about our channel. Then they treated us differently then, which was interesting. So this which is was what, very interesting. So yes, I was yeah. said, you know what? I'm going to throw out because they uh, think obviously we're just, a, you know, a, a, just a regular customer without a channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You know, but, but it's actually not because I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I really don't feel like they're treating us well. I'm like, you know what? Let's tell them our experience. What really happened? Am I eating too much chicken? <laughs> I... <f> <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like I haven't had that much, and all of a sudden, it's all of my here. It's a, you can have that piece. That's yours. It's okay. <laughs> There's, There's more. more. That's fine. You can eat. 
<laughs> Clearly you're hungry. I'm not no, stopping. That's fine. <laughs> Go for it. You're so cute though. Okay. Anyway, so I said, let me tell you about my story. I was like, um, we have a YouTube channel. I didn't mm-hmm. say what it was. I think I said it was a food channel. I didn't say mukbang, even though mm-hmm. they know what a mukbang is. But yep. I said, we have a food channel. I said, we opened your coldest water bottle during a live and it said Jasmine M and we all had a good laugh and it was funny. But now, it, you know, it, it's not funny because, you know, it's been over a month and a half. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you haven't, you know, our order hasn't been corrected yet. We told them that we had our little following. We said how many people followed us, you know, yeah. so they had an idea. Because um, I just wanted to throw it out there and just be like, you know, so I get that it happened, you know, in terms of your transition mm-hmm. and you were out. And I, and I get, I just, and I said, but I just want you to understand, you know, our perspective on it. And I just wish more could have been done to accommodate. That's all I said. I was going to leave it there. Mm-hmm. Um and send them the thing and get you know bring it back anyways a few days go by we haven't had a chance to send in the <clears throat> jasmine m coldest water bottle yet but a few days later i didn't get any response from them you know not nobody wrote me back or anything mm-hmm. but all of a sudden it said your order is in the mail mm-hmm. so clearly they did not wait for us to package and send off the jasmine m coldest water bottle they just sent our order in the mail mm-hmm. Which was very nice of them, and we really, I actually really did appreciate that, that they... Yeah, that they did that. Mm-hmm. Well, what's, I think too, like, mm-hmm. it's funny because, like, I, I, I think this is really an important thing because a lot of companies, especially smaller companies, because they are actually smaller companies, which we didn't really realize that because so many mm-hmm. uh, influencers use them, mm-hmm. um, or, you know, they... they Use them as sponsors. Like we're not sponsors of Coldest Water Bottle at all. We just see them on other channels and we want to try it. But um, we thought they were a bigger company than they actually were. So for us, we were thinking maybe the customer service is going to be on point, but it's not. Like they were not really great until we mentioned that we actually do have a channel and we have, um, you know, people that actually experienced us opening the bot, opening the box and seeing that. Mm-hmm. And I think that really kind of got to them where maybe that had them, that made them take action. What's sad is mm-hmm. I, I think if we didn't tell them about the channel and then maybe they thought we were just regular customers, we probably wouldn't have gotten, uh, <laughs> they probably wouldn't have sent it. Not at all. Who knows how long it would have taken or what the deal was, you know? They would have sent it once we sent it back. Yeah, once we sent it back, maybe. But even then, I like, think. who knows how long it would have taken for them to send it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But, I mean, and I get it. You know, I think I think this time of year, uh, or not even just this time of year, I think they are starting to really take off. Like, I, yeah. you know, a lot of buck bombers really have done them, and now, like, mm-hmm. you see so many other influencers using them. Mm-hmm. So I think they're starting to take off, mm-hmm. and... I think their customer service and, you know, maybe just it hasn't really caught up yet mm-hmm. like it should be. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's all good. It is what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that we got it all fixed and it was nice of them to actually actually send it, you know, mm-hmm. and engrave my name, too, which was nice. Mm-hmm. I didn't think they were going to do that. And they also got it right, too. They sent your stuff, too, which we paid for. They sent the straw thing they that I can sip out of. Yeah, which So they nice. sent it and I appreciate it. Yeah. But then I, I really do. Mm-hmm, but then mm-hmm. I was thinking, I was like, but what if I hadn't it said we, you know, like had a yeah. channel and we didn't do it in front of hundreds of people? Like, yeah. you know, would they have sent it back? You know, like I just wish that they would have from the yeah. beginning been just more accommodating. For That's sure. All. And again, they didn't even write back after I told I them my know. experience. They just sent it, which again, I appreciate you sending it. I really do. Yeah. But not even a write back. I don't I know. know. We should have been like, we got. 20 million subscribers <laughs> and they're all watching us now. <laughs> You're live as, as we're typing this. Yeah. So finally, yeah. you got it. Yeah. It was good. And I think, well, Cold Us Water Bottle, we do appreciate you sending yeah. it finally. I do think Absolutely. that I really do think that was the least you could do was just to send it, you know? Yeah. As, as you mm-hmm. know, whether or not we return the old one or not, like just to send, I do think that that's mm-hmm. the right thing to do. Yeah. Because we waited so, so long and, you know. Yeah. It's just the right thing to do. Exactly. I think. No, no, it is. No, there's no I think about it. For sure. Like if right I was, thing. you know, again, I don't know there. But if, I, if it was my business, I would have did that. Well, yeah. I mean, the thing yeah. is, I think a lot of, and I'm, I, I don't know about their situation because, you know, I think the thing is too, that was our experience. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you there's a lot of people that had a great experience with Coldest Water Bottle because they get nothing but amazing reviews, you know? So I'm sure people have great experience with them. Mm-hmm. Um, or at least that's what I think. Um, 
but I, I do think a lot of companies really miss the ball on customer service. Like, mm-hmm. like if you got if you got really good customer service, I mean, people will just keep coming back and buying stuff. They'll recommend you. I mean, the customer service really does change everything for you. You know, it, mm-hmm. it, it changes the game when it comes to your business. Um, if it's done right, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I just have to say, yeah. so initially when they were out... Of the water mm-hmm. bottles and, and all the colors, mm-hmm. what I maybe would have, you know, like again, like I, you know, what, what would I, you have done? What I would have done, would have done? <laughs> I would have sent us. Yeah. I would have offered, hey, do you want a one one up in size? You know, yeah. we don't have a twenty one, yeah. but we have a other one. That's true. Do you want a size up or? That's right. I'd be like, oh, here is a um a discount, a twenty yeah. percent discount for your next order. We're so sorry. It's just a little bit goes a long way. That's true. There was no solution except too bad, so sad. You have to wait a month and a half, and that yeah was annoying. And I get that they were I out. I get they didn't have control of that. I understand, but mm-hmm. it's also not my fault that you sent us the wrong order. Yeah, exactly. When they were in stock, you know, and I just think more should have been done to accommodate. That's all. I feel like if I was in customer service and I was in a situation, I would probably email the person and been like, you might want to change your name to Jasmine M. That way. Because <laughs> we're not sending you anything. No, just joking. No, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, no, I, I agree with you on so that. So all is right with the, with the coldest water bottle. We appreciate yeah. them for doing that. Next thing we got to do is test this thing now. Because Look, by the way... I'm kind of sad. Kristen got this like massive one. And she gave you me this said little you didn't small... want a big one. I did say that though. But <laughs> I asked Jamil if you wanted a big one. Look he that. said no. I can't even put the ice in here. You guys, the ice, Kristen's like, the ice fits in there perfectly. We should have gotten Mine, him. I have to like. Yeah, here, look. <laughs> I have a wide lip. Yeah. <laughs> the ice that comes from. Uh, because we, you know, we don't have a refrigerator where the ice comes out of the, the little filter area, whatever it's called. Uh, we actually have ice cubes. And, and I can't put them in there. I got to, like, force them in there or run them under some cold water and then put them in there. And then by that time, they melt. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I put them in there. Yeah. So I'm like, I should have got the bigger one. Yeah. Man. But this thing's cool. You. Yeah. It's my fault. There's no doubt about that. It's cool. They're good. Yeah. Again, no we, doubt. you know, we we have our own opinions about it. We won't tell you negatives. Yeah. Yeah. Because whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I mean, don't want to go in hard. I already have, so it's fine. Exactly. But I obviously drink out of it, and I like it enough to drink out of it, so it is good. You know. Yeah. And I do think just having your water colder in general does make you drink more. So. That's true. I like it. You know, and That's I like true. the pink. You know, so cold water is not good for your body. It's better listen. to drink room temperature water. Yeah. Listen, but if that's it, what they say on YouTube. You're so <laughs> Listen, but if it makes you drink more water than you normally would, then technically that's good for you. No, because then it's worse for your body. <laughs> so it's actually So if good. you can't have crisp cold water versus nothing, crisp cold water versus nothing, you should have nothing. Nothing's better. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. That's not true. Don't no, follow either. Jamil's health advice. <laughs> yeah, don't no, listen to me. I'm, I'm definitely not any type of scientist, as you all know, with my 2.0. <laughs> that went up to a 3.5 though. that's right when I killed it on Bean Boozled don't you forget don't you forget I won't you I won't was... forget because I <laughs> I'm ashamed that was the day you were eating dirty socks and <laughs> dishwashing liquid or whatever it's called so gross okay thank yeah. you for listening to our story you guys and yeah I just wanted to share that with you because all is right now in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, not the world. Yeah, let us All know. is right with the situation. And let us know if any of you guys actually have the water bottle, because we're kind of curious to see what you think of it. I am curious what you think. Yeah, because, um, you know, we have our, our opinions on it and stuff like that, but I'm curious what you guys think, too, uh, as far as, like, you know, how cold it is, how long it lasts, the cold and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Just kind of curious to see. See totally. what you think. But, uh, uh-huh. yeah, everything was good. I hope you guys Clearly enjoyed we it. we hated this food. I know. Did you eat hella chicken or did I? Maybe I ate hella chicken. Ate, I think you ate all of it. <laughs> Thank you. I had, like, one. <laughs> Maybe one. <laughs> I had, like, just one piece. Kristen had all of that. <laughs> no, I ate, like, all of the chicken. No, I ate a lot, too, I think. I ate all of it, though. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain I did. <laughs> you might have had all the pink sauce, even though I did have a lot of it. But you still might have had all of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay you guys don't forget to like comment, subscribe share share just carry that you've been friendly know what the kate and jay fam are doing and until next time guys we hope you have a wonderful day evening or night whatever time it is out there and we will see you in our next video mm-hmm. peace, ah, peace out, y'all.